Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about a topic that I've actually never actually covered. So I've, t I've covered how to shoot a basketball before many, many times, but I've never really talked about energy transfer or power transfer all the way through your shot. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So transferring energy all the way up through your body into your shot is extremely important if you wanna to try to extend your range out past the three point line, especially to the NBA three and farther. Players like Damian Lillard do this extremely well. So what first got me talking or thinking about talking about this, uh, this subject is because I've seen a lot of NBA players shooting free throw shots and they're not transferring their energy through the into the ball. And then I start looking at different players, whether it be the NBA, college, university, or high school players here in Ontario, they're also not, a lot of them are not doing this. So this is extremely important if you wanna to try to extend your range. So how do we take our shot? Well, we all know the regular, if you're right-handed, the right foot's in front of the left. If you're left foot, if you're left-handed, your left foot's in front of your, your right. Now, I'm right-handed, so my right foot's gonna be in front of my left. We all know that. We all know that your shoulders should be in line with your toes, in line with your knees, all the way up. But, there's a lot of players who will take that shot. They'll do everything perfectly, where they'll take that shot, and then they'll go up, and then they'll, shoot the ball after they they basically freeze somewhere in between their shooting form you don't really want to freeze at all whether you're taking a layup or dunk a shot whatever it may be you really don't want to freeze because what happens then is if you t if you get that ball to shoot and then you stop or you come up here to and you freeze here and then you extend you're taking a lot of your power away it needs to be fluid, it needs to be all one movement. You need to get that ball, get low, explode up all one movement into your shot. Now, what I want you to do is, after this video, go to the basketball court or go to your backyard where you have a net or wherever it is, take a couple of shots and record yourself. See if you are freezing anywhere in your shot. And I don't just mean freezing and then going up or going up, freezing, and then shooting. I don't mean that. I mean all the way through. So are you freezing on that foot, doing a little bit of a stutter step, whatever it may be? You don't wanna freeze at all. You don't wanna pause. You want it to be all one fluid shot all the way up. Whatever your shooting form is, I know everyone's shooting form is a slight different. You wanna get it all one shooting form, all one movement. That's what you wanna do. This includes when you spin the ball to yourself and then you go up for your shot, all one movement. This includes if you're coming in and doing a jump stop, all one movement. You don't wanna pause anywhere through this because if you pause and then you take your shot, you're gonna lose a lot of your power. It needs to be all one movement. Now remember, when you take your shot, you do not want to change your upper body at all. The only time you want to change your upper body is your shot release. And that is if your shot is too long, it means it's going too far, it means that you're pushing the ball too far forward. What you need to do is release the ball higher. That way you're going to get more arc. And if your shot is too short, that means that you need more legs. So you need to jump a bit higher. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you start shooting without any pauses in your shot, believe me, you're actually gonna be using a lot less energy when you're shooting, when it comes to your leg or your legs when you're jumping, which means that you can conserve that energy for when you get farther into a game, into the fourth quarter or into overtime. This technique helps a lot of players. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has helped you shoot the basketball better. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.